let's simplify this rational expression. It's a rational expression because it's composed of two polynomials in ratio. So I'm going to try to color code my top and bottom if I can remember to do this. So let's go green and red. Okay? In the numerator we have the expression u squared minus 7u plus 10 and then in the denominator we have 4u squared minus 16. So as an initial factoring step, what's the first step when we try to factor some kind of polynomial? We should always pull out the gukuf, right? the greatest common factor. So between 4 and 16, the greatest common factor there would be the number 4. And so what's left over is a u squared minus 4. 4 times u squared is 4u squared, and 4 times 4 is 16. Okay, and the second step of simplification, let's factor the quadratics, the squared powers. So in the numerator, we have u squared minus 7u plus 10. So let's try to think mentally of a couple of numbers that would add together to become negative 7 and would multiply together to become 10. So if you think about it for a couple seconds here, you might eventually come up with the numbers negative 5 and negative 2. Notice negative 5 times 2 is 10, negative 5 plus 2 is negative 7. So our factoring of the numerator would be u minus 5, u minus 2. Now in the denominator, we already have the 4 that we pulled out, and conveniently the denominator this time of being u squared minus 4 is a difference of squares. So you could also do a little x method or try to figure these out uh, in the same method as before, but since it's a perfect square, or sorry, a difference of squares, I'll just go u plus 2, u minus 2, because I've worked with that often enough that I can remember that's the factoring. Now notice after factoring both the numerator and the denominator, there's a common factor among the top and the bottom, namely the u minus 2. So I can cross those out, and what is actually left with the entire expression at the end? Well, in the numerator we have that u minus 5, and in the denominator we have 4 times u plus 2. And for most intents and purposes, for example in a calculus sense, I don't like to distribute the denominator. This particular form is actually much easier to work with, so I would leave it as u minus 5 over 4 times the quantity u plus 2. So try on your own this one over here, assuming you've looked at that, kind of understood it. Pause the video and see if you can do this one on your own before I start to do it. And assuming you've taken a shot at that, let's go. Let's say equals. On the numerator, I'm going to keep that the same at the first stage here. We'll worry about it in the next stage. So v squared plus 11v plus 30 over, in the denominator, 4 36 and 72 have a gukuf of 4. 4 is a common factor that can go into those. And the remaining pieces would be a v squared plus a 9v. 9 times 4 is 36. And let's see, 72, 36, 18 would be the left over here. And verify uh, just by distributing 4v squared plus 36v plus 72. Now, as far as our factoring goes, in the numerator we have an adding number of 11 and a multiplying number of 30. Two numbers that multiply to be 30 add to be 11. Oh, notice 5 and 6 work. 5 times 6 is 30, 5 plus 6 is 11. So the numerator would be v plus 5, v plus 6. How about the denominator? We already got the 4, and this time I didn't get a nice pretty difference of squares thing, so I'll come over here and do my typical method of a and m. The adding number is the coefficient to the v in the linear term, which is a 9, and the multiplying number is an 18. So now we need to think of two numbers that multiply to 18, add to 9. Okay, if you think for a second there, did you catch 2 and 7? 2 plus 7 is 9, and 2 plus, or 2 times 7 is, ooh, not 18. Error. 
try two other numbers, 6 and 3. 6 plus 3 is 9, 6 times 3 is 18. So notice that even with an error we can catch it when we check it. These are the two numbers we need to work. V plus 6, V plus 3. Generally speaking, the numerator and the denominator will often have a piece in common that will allow you to reduce if the problem has been written by uh, somebody who has designed the test appropriately, most of the time. So you can use that as a guide. V plus 6, V plus 6, common to the top and the bottom. So what's left over at the end here? Looks like a V plus 5 alone on the top, and in the bottom it's a 4 multiplied by a quantity of v plus 3. I hope you got the same answer I did.